please give him a round of applause. All right, good morning, Ms. Dr. Orda. Uh, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, so floor is yours. <laughs> yeah, uh, hi, I'm Fumito Wada. <laughs> Uh, I'm president and CEO of Rido Pharmaceutical. We are a preclinical stage biotech company uh, developing antisense oligonucleotide, uh, also known as ASOs. <coughs> so currently, there are many uh, startup companies developing oligonucleotide medicines, but if you are interested in, uh, sorry, hmm? this is, uh, okay, you are interested in uh, oligonucleotide therapeutics, yeah, uh, we strongly recommend using our technology because uh, we can obtain a highly effective and safe uh, development candidate within a year. About more detail, uh, please check this uh, uh, paper in Nature Communications. Anyway, uh, why do we focus on ASOs? It's because of their wide range of applications. In fact, uh, more and more ASOs regulating RNA degradation or splicing are continuously being approved. However, unfortunately, there are significant toxic issues specific to uh, ASOs, such as hepatotoxicity or nephrotoxicity, which have been widely reported preclinical to clinical stages. So yeah, these critical issues limit the scope of ASOs applications so our mission is overcoming these critical issues and unleashing the full therapeutic potential of ASOs. ASOs have two main toxic mechanisms. The first is non-specific interaction with the proteins, and the second, second arises from hybridization to non-target RNAs. Considering that this toxic mechanism uh, um, can depend on cell types or tissues, so ASOs would ideally avoid both types of toxic mechanism at the same time. Historically, uh, medicinal chemistry approaches using uh, modified nucleic acid have been tried to address these uh, critical issues. But simultaneously avoiding those toxic mechanisms has been extremely difficult but we can. So to overcome these toxic issues, uh, we've, we've transformed conventional single-stranded ASO into partially double-stranded ASO with a toehold domain, which we call a brother's duplex. Brother's duplex can avoid, um, some dynamically avoid both interaction uh, non-specific interaction with proteins and non-target RNAs. About the avoidance of toxicity, we've uh, demonstrated in people's study. For example, uh, the about 20 hole safety margin of uh, conventional single-stranded ASO systemically injected to mice uh, can be increased to at least 200 hold uh, safety margin uh, with our brother's technology. Additionally, uh, acute neurotoxicity has also been identified as uh, one of uh, critical issues of ASOs. So we've also demonstrated ICB injection study. <coughs> uh, in fact, many types of single-stranded ASO induces severe acute neurotoxicity or death shortly after ICB injection. Uh, on the other hand, with our brother's technology, no signs of neurotoxicity were observed. And uh, brother's duplex showed uh, up to 90, uh, up to 95% pa uh, uh, target RNA knockdown activity in brain uh, a week uh, after in, uh, ICB injections. So we are confident that these our result will strongly assist the development of ASOs for CNS disorders. This is how we optimize the brother's duplex. Uh, this process involves 
uh, AI assisted uh, ASOS design, high throughput organic retail synthesis and in vitro screening, deep, to, deep optimization uh, of ASOS sequence or design using a proprietary modified nucleic acid. And finally, uh, uh, maximizing the safety and specificity using our uh, brother's technology. Additionally, we can also uh, optimize DDS using our original DDS linker technology. So through, the, through uh, this process, uh, we can uh, obtain development candidate within a year. About our business, we have two models. Uh, the first is uh, co-development or collaborative research with pharmaceutical companies to obtain uh, a development candidate. The second is developing in-house our pipelines. So the current, current market of ASOs is about $3 billion and reached to uh, about $9 billion uh, by 2030. Uh, however, this forecast is based on the current status of ASL's development. So, yeah, we believe that overcoming uh, safety issues can, uh, could expand the market. We are currently uh, and strategically uh, uh, building our pipelines, especially focusing on CNS diseases. Yeah, this is our members. Uh, to progress our business, um, our team is composed of members with uh, extensive experience in ASO uh, research, such as myself and Yamamoto, and those with high expertise in intellectual property or finance. So we are now uh, estimating $6.5 million, uh, million dollars uh, to conduct the IND enabling study to, uh, of our first pipelines and are preparing for Series A funding. And also, uh, we are also uh, seeking collaboration opportunity with the pharmaceutical companies. Uh, yeah, uh, we, so we are looking forward to discuss with you. We can uh, unleash uh, the full therapeutic potential of your uh, oligonucleotide medicines. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Dr. Huada.